Hey Excel friends and family, Jill Stoppel Davis here. Um, we are kicking off our holiday trainer tip video series again this December. Um, and I wanna invite you all to join me for the next few weeks. I'll be sharing weekly videos from some of the trainers here on with really easy tips that you can implement as we're hitting all the holiday parties going into Christmas. And so that your new year um, doesn't start with even more setbacks on whatever your health and wellness goals are for 2018. So I wanna to talk to you about energy. Um, the holidays, December especially, is a huge energy drain on a lot of us because you're so busy. I mean, first of all, you still have to work, right? Um, you're juggling more family, friends, and events and kids being out of school than normal. Um, and you're shopping, running around, maybe planning dinners, cooking, it's just insane, right? And so we find ourselves reaching for more and more coffee throughout the day and sometimes you just get to a point where you can't get enough caffeine, it's not working and you're totally drained and fried. So here are some things that can help you up that energy without just relying on straight caffeine. Um, number one is hydration. Hydration is very important to, for your energy. Um, and to keep you feeling energized throughout the day. Um, one tip I'd like to share is to start your morning off before you reach for that cup of coffee is to have some warm lemon water. It kind of helps set some alkalinity in your body. It revs you up, it gets you hydrated um, and ready to start your day and then continuing to drink your water throughout the day, um, making sure you're taking a big water bottle. Remember, you wanna try and drink half of your body weight in ounces throughout the day. Um, this is also great for helping you maintain your weight throughout the holidays, which we want you to focus on maintaining your fitness levels and your weight. Um, trying to lose during December could be a little bit challenging. Um, green tea is also a great alternative if you need that extra pick-me-up. Um, instead of reaching for coffee in the afternoon, it has a little bit less caffeine, and there's a lot of research that it does help speed your metabolism and curb your appetite a little bit, so that will help you with all the extra holiday calories as well. Um, number two is a big one, sleep. Okay, Jill, how am I gonna get more sleep in um, while I'm juggling the parties and the shopping and all the extra stuff I have to do at night when everyone's in bed? Well, true enough, but sleep will save you, um, and there is a lot of research too that sleep that you get before midnight is very beneficial to your energy and how you feel. So try to get to bed before midnight. You wanna shoot for seven to eight hours. If you can't quite get that and you can squeeze a nap in sometime, maybe unrealistic for some, but um, that counts towards your seven or eight hours. But try to stay in somewhat of a schedule with that sleep. Your body will really thank you for it. Um, my next one is walking and movement breaks. Um, Angie and Alicia, or um, Anna and Alicia are gonna talk a little bit about this and give you some ideas in their videos as well. But we get our energy from oxygen and glucose getting into your system, into the bloodstream, into your brain. So how do we get oxygen into our system? It's all through movement. So. Alicia's gonna to talk to you about setting reminders and timers, but if you're sitting at a desk all day, you definitely wanna be getting up every 30 to 45 minutes. So, um, you know, program your watch, program your phone to set alarms with reminders for you to, even if you just stand up, um, walk to the furthest bathroom in your office, park far away, take the stairs, all those kind of tips. Um, any kind of movement helps improve your emotions. It clears your head so you're more productive and focused, but it gets that oxygen flowing again. Um, and it's really gonna help you because the average American is inactive for 11 hours a day, even if you're working out and that's just not enough. So get moving. Um, and that means you have to eat well and also make sure that you're snacking um, to help keep that energy up. Don't go long stretches without eating. and. Definitely try to eat your best outside of the holiday events and parties you know you have coming and then have fun at those and that'll counteract everything for you. Um, and lastly, supplementation is a great idea during this time of year when people are getting more sick. So if you're on a multivitamin, stay on it. Um, B vitamins, vitamin D is also great, as is magnesium to help you recover, but definitely talk to your doctor or one of us about those. And have a very happy holiday and stay tuned with us.